Welcome to our YouTube channel, where we share helpful automotive tips and guides. In today's video, we'll be diving into an essential topic for Chevy owners, how to reset the throttle position sensor, TPS. The throttle position sensor plays a vital role in ensuring optimal engine performance by regulating the air intake. Over time, it may become misaligned or malfunction, resulting in various performance issues. But worry not. We've got you covered with our step-by-step -step guide on how to reset the throttle position sensor in your Chevy. By following our instructions, you'll be able to reset the TPS and restore your vehicle's performance, whether you're driving a Chevy Cobalt, Silverado, or any other Chevy model. In this video, we'll walk you through each step of the resetting process, ensuring you have a smooth and hassle-free experience. Before we begin, make sure you have the necessary tools handy, such as safety gloves, a can of compressed air, and a soft brush for cleaning. Step-by-step -step guide to resetting the throttle position sensor in a Chevy. Now, let's dive into the detailed steps involved in resetting the throttle position sensor in your Chevy. By following these instructions carefully, you can effectively reset the TPS and restore your vehicle's performance. Step 1. Disconnecting the negative battery terminal. To ensure your safety during the reset process, begin by disconnecting the negative battery terminal. This step is essential to prevent any electrical accidents or short circuits while working on the throttle position sensor. Simply locate the negative terminal, usually labeled with A, sign, and loosen the clamp to disconnect it. Step 2. Locating and removing the throttle position sensor. The next step is to locate the throttle position sensor on your Chevy. Refer to your vehicle's manual or online resources specific to your Chevy model, such as the Chevy Cobalt or Chevy Silverado, to find the sensor's exact location. Once located, disconnect the sensor's connector by gently releasing the clips or bolts securing it. Take note of the sensor's orientation before removal for easier reinstallation later. Before proceeding, take a moment to inspect the sensor and the connector for any dirt, debris, or corrosion. If present, clean the sensor and the connector using a specialized electrical contact cleaner or gentle brush. Ensure that the sensor and connector are completely dry before reinstallation. Step 3. Cleaning the throttle position sensor. Now that you have removed the throttle position sensor, it's time to clean it thoroughly. A clean sensor is crucial for accurate readings and optimal performance. To clean the sensor, use a can of compressed air or a soft brush to remove any dirt or debris that may have accumulated on its surface. Be gentle during this process to avoid damaging the delicate sensor. Additionally, check the throttle body for any carbon buildup and clean it if necessary. Once the cleaning is complete, allow the sensor to dry completely before moving on to the next step. Step 4. Reattaching the throttle position sensor. With the throttle position sensor clean and dry, it's time to reattach it to the throttle body. Ensure that the sensor is aligned properly with the throttle body and gently insert it into the connector. Use the clips or bolts to secure the sensor in place. Take care not to force the sensor or over tighten the bolts, as this can cause damage. Once securely attached, Double check the orientation of the sensor to ensure proper alignment. Step 5. Reconnecting the negative battery terminal. The final step in resetting the throttle position sensor is to reconnect the negative battery terminal. Locate the negative terminal clamp and slide it back onto the terminal post. Tighten the clamp securely, ensuring a solid connection. This step completes the reset process, and your Chevy is now ready to be started. Symptoms of a bad throttle position sensor in a Chevy. Recognizing the symptoms of a faulty throttle position sensor is crucial for timely diagnosis and maintenance. Here are some common signs that indicate a potential problem with the TPS in your Chevy. 1. Illuminated check engine light. One of the earliest indicators of a malfunctioning TPS is the illumination of the check engine light on your dashboard. When the TPS fails to provide accurate throttle position data to the ECU, it triggers the check engine light as a warning sign. 2. Erratic or inconsistent idling. A faulty throttle position sensor can cause unstable or jumpy idling. You may notice your engine revving up and down or struggling to maintain a steady idle speed. This inconsistency can result from inaccurate throttle position readings, leading to an imbalance in the air-fuel mixture. 3. Decreased fuel efficiency. A malfunctioning TPS can disrupt the proper regulation of the air-fuel mixture, resulting in decreased fuel efficiency. If you notice a sudden drop in your Chevy's fuel economy, it may be due to an inaccurate throttle position reading from the faulty TPS. 4. Hesitation or stalling during acceleration. When accelerating, a malfunctioning throttle position sensor can cause hesitation or even stalling. 
the TPS plays a crucial role in determining the amount of air that should enter the engine during acceleration. If the sensor fails to provide accurate readings, it can lead to a lack of power and overall poor acceleration performance. Understanding the Throttle Position Sensor TPS. To comprehend the significance of resetting the throttle position sensor, it's crucial to understand the role it plays in your vehicle's air intake system. The TPS is located on the throttle body and is responsible for measuring the position of the throttle. It sends a signal to the engine control unit ECU, which utilizes this data to adjust fuel injection and ignition timing. A faulty TPS can lead to engine performance problems. If the TPS is not functioning properly, it can cause the engine to run either too lean, too much air and not enough fuel, or too rich, too much fuel and not enough air. These imbalances can result in decreased fuel efficiency, unstable idling, hesitation or stalling during acceleration, and even trigger the check engine light. Conclusion Regularly resetting the throttle position sensor in your Chevy is crucial for maintaining optimal engine performance and efficiency. By following the step-by-step -step guide outlined in this article, you can ensure that your vehicle's throttle position sensor is accurately calibrated, resulting in smoother driving experiences and improved fuel economy. Remember to pay attention to any symptoms of a malfunctioning TPS and address them promptly to prevent further issues. And that's it. By following these steps, you'll be able to reset the throttle position sensor in your Chevy, improving its performance and fuel efficiency. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more automotive guides and tips. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more informative videos on maintaining and optimizing your Chevy vehicle. Drive safe and happy motoring. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Share this video and don't forget to hit the like button.